Engaging Dads, a new conversation. We're going to talk about dads, not just any dads, but dads in the context of child safeguarding. You see it every day, folks. We need to break down the stereotypes and get real about the vital role fathers play in raising healthy, happy and safe children. This isn't just about mothers. It's about creating a circle of protection and support that benefits everyone. We're going to dive deep into practical tips and cultural competence because every family, every culture deserves to be understood and respected. Chapter 1. Early involvement. Bring dads to the table from day one. Don't wait until there's a problem. Early involvement builds trust and shows respect. Chapter 2. Straight talk, lose the jargon, communicate clearly, directly and respectfully. Make sure dads understand what's going on. Chapter 3 Words Matter. Choose your words carefully. Use inclusive language that acknowledges fathers as equal partners in caregiving. Chapter 4. Life happens. Be flexible. Offer meetings and events at different times to accommodate dads' work schedules. Chapter 5. Strength Finders. Focus on dad's strengths, not just their weaknesses. Recognize their potential and the contributions they already make. Chapter 6. Band of Brothers. Encourage dads to connect with each other. Support groups provide a safe space to share experiences and strategies. Chapter 7. Knowledge is power. Provide dads with the tools they need. Parenting courses and workshops can empower them with knowledge and skills. Chapter 8. Real Life Heroes. Representation Matters. Male facilitators and mentors can serve as positive role models for other fathers. Chapter 9. One size doesn't fit all. Recognize that every father is different. Take the time to understand their individual needs and circumstances. Chapter 10. Feedback is a gift. Create opportunities for dads to share their thoughts and suggestions. Their feedback is invaluable. Chapter 11. Cultural Awareness. Educate yourself and your team about the cultural backgrounds of the families you work with. Chapter 12. Check your bias. Approach all families with an open mind and respect for their cultural differences. Chapter 13. Lost in Translation. Provide materials in the family's preferred language and use interpreters when necessary. Chapter 14. Culturally relevant resources. Use resources and interventions that are culturally relevant and sensitive to the family's background. Chapter 15. Community Connections. Collaborate with community leaders and organizations that are trusted by different cultural groups. Chapter 16. Provide continuous cultural competence training for all staff covering topics like cultural humility and implicit bias. Chapter 17. Strive for a diverse staff that reflects the community you serve, fostering understanding and trust. Consider the family's cultural context when developing assessment and intervention plans. Utilize cultural brokers or liaisons to facilitate understanding and communication between different cultural groups. Regularly review and update policies and practices to ensure they are inclusive and culturally competent. Look, this isn't just about checking boxes. It's about creating a system that truly supports fathers and families from all walks of life. We need to move beyond outdated stereotypes and recognize the incredible value dads bring to the table. It's time to step up, do the work, and make a real difference in the lives of children.